There are so many laptops out there, and choosing the right one can be a pretty daunting task. Some are big and beefy, while others go for something sleeker and more portable. The laptop I have here fits firmly into that second camp, and it's the new Swift 7, sent out by Acer, who were kind enough to sponsor this video. It's quite something to behold, as at the time of filming, this is the world's thinnest laptop, 8.95mm to be precise. This makes it glide into your backpack with ease, and weighing just over a kilogram, you won't really know it's there. Despite the thin hardware, Acer hasn't held back on its screen, with a bright and vivid IPS display that's been upgraded this time around with full capacitive touch. The 1080p resolution might not hit any breakthrough headlines, but on a 14 inch screen it's more than sharp enough, and will deliver justice to movies, photographs and YouTube videos. I was really familiar with the last generation of Swift 7, and I'm really pleased that Acer have actually listened to feedback and included a backlit keyboard, which will really aid in those lower light situations, but they've also added a fingerprint reader on the side, which works consistently well and makes unlocking the laptop just that little bit easier. The body also feels a bit stronger and more stable than before, and Acer has helpfully added 4G LTE connectivity threaded flexibility if you're on the go. The trackpad is a bit of an unusual one though, as while the Windows Precision drivers make gliding a real breeze, the laptop is so thin that there's not a click when pressed. This means that you'll be relying on the double tap and hold gesture for all your dragging needs, which definitely took me a while to get used to. There's no doubt that this is a real luxury bit of kit, but if you're in the market for a new laptop, should you actually go for a thin and light in the first place? Well, realistically, it all depends on what you use your laptop for. The Swift 7 is all about premium portability, with a thin frame and great screen proving invaluable for writers on the move. I use a laptop every day for writing up scripts, replying to emails, and because I travel so frequently I go into London to various different offices, I need something that's incredibly portable, and that's exactly what the Swift 7 is all about. There is a compromise with something this size though, and that's purely down to how powerful the laptop is. You see, the dual core processor in the Swift is a lower wattage Y series i7. It's completely fanless, which makes the entire laptop silent in operation, but it does lack a little bit of grunt that you'll find in larger laptops. And this is exactly why you need to know what you'll be using your computer for, because if it is just going to be spreadsheets, word processing, emails, and maybe a bit of Facebook, then it doesn't really make sense to buy something that's larger and more powerful when you're never going to be using it anyway. If you're not that fussed about maximum portability though, it's always worth looking at some thicker options that will have a little bit more juice, more ports, and even a larger display. Acer sent out their Swift 5 earlier in the year, and this strikes a great balance between size and power. Whenever you're doing your shopping, you're going to want to pay close attention to the specs of the machine as more RAM will allow it to have more applications running at the same time, and a higher powered CPU is key for those more intensive tasks, with video and photo editing requiring a lot of number crunching to work smoothly. Gaming on the other hand is a whole completely different kettle of fish, and you're going to want to pay close attention to the graphics card that comes installed. You're looking for the term dedicated graphics, and at the time of filming, an NVIDIA GTX 1050 is a great entry point into games like Fortnite, CSGO and Dota, but of course the more powerful the game, the more powerful the laptop will need to be to actually run it. A lot of people will buy cheaper, general purpose laptops, and then expect them to be able to play the latest games. It just doesn't work like that. All things said and done, your buying process should actually be pretty straightforward, it's just about getting something that's right for your individual needs. As someone who edits video on a desktop, but then frequently travels with a laptop, the Swift 7 is more or less designed precisely for me. I can get all of my work done while enjoying the thin and light design. But ultimately we're all different, so whatever you end up choosing, make sure it's a perfect fit for you. I will leave links to the Swift 7, as well as all of the other laptops featured down in that description below, but I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Would you go for something that's really thin and light, or would you always want something that is that little bit thicker? Let me know down in the comment section below, but while you're down there, do hit that like button as it lets others know it's a video worth watching, and obviously get subscribed for more videos just like this. But a massive thank you once again to you guys for watching, to Acer for sponsoring this video, and I will see you in the next one.